Thank you. As I listened to your State of the Town address, Mayor, I had to check on my BlackBerry the date of the Kerner Commission report. Because as I listened to you, I was thinking, well, my God, what Chapel Hill does my family live in and do I visit every day and conduct my business, including spending my money in Chapel Hill businesses? I believe as the Kerner Commission report reported in 1968 or concluded in 1968, the nation is moving towards two societies, one black and one white. I argue that that's true today in Chapel Hill. So although things seem quite well to you, I'm here expressing a concern that may lead you to a different conclusion than what you came out with today in your state of the state. We indeed have, and we're moving towards two separate towns, one black and largely Hispanic and Latino, one white, one rich and one poor, separate and very much unequal, unequal in the way they're treated. I heard a lot about trees and the environment, which I certainly applaud, and as an environmentalist myself, um, thank you for that being a part of your focus as well as our youth. I heard nothing about the poor. I heard nothing about the seemingly voiceless, the low-wage workers. I'm hoping that they, too, are on your radar and just didn't make it into your speech. It has been three months since the town discharged or dismissed or fired, however you want to say it, Reverend Kerry Bigelow and Mr. Clyde Clark. They were fired in the midst of the worst recession in our country's history since the 1930s, just before the holidays and with the same family obligations that many of us share, children, mortgage, rent, insurance, transportation costs. Needless to say, as former members of the town's lowest wage workers, their living expenses and basic necessities have basically evaporated what little savings they had. They had. Over the past several months, in addition to the CAI case, over the last several months we have gained more evidence of the town's systematic retaliation campaign against the two sanitation workers and outright lies, including a response at a request that I made from the town manager that nothing was done to deny them the workers' unemployment when indeed our lawyer received from the Employment Security Commission a pile of documents that were, we believe, sent to block or dissuade unemployment compensations for the two low-wage workers. I am really concerned that our current town council members have buried their heads in the sand. Maybe it's because they too buy into that favorable and glorious picture that you painted of Chapel Hill, and they are blind and they have turned a deaf ear to those concerns of these low-wage workers. I appeal before this town council that you look at the request, ask the specific questions that are included in this document, and that you take an active and vigilant um, role in helping to seek justice in this case. Many of you spoke on Martin Luther King Day. I don't know what's in your heart, but I certainly do know your actions are contrary and contradictory to the actions that he stood for and ultimately gave his life for. Thank you, Ms. Laws.